Okay, now I want to go over the most missed problems from your independent practice that you all worked on yesterday. Um, most of you did it. I think I have 35 of you that turned it in. Those of you that didn't, uh, I'm shutting it off and so you'll get a zero. You all need to learn to do your independent practice and turn things in on time. Um, the first problem. <clears throat> 34 minus 57. Okay, remember you're adding the opposite when you subtract. So I'm just going to change my subtraction sign to a plus and my 57 to a negative. Now remember, my signs are different, so now I have to subtract. So 57 minus 34 is 23 but the absolute value of 57 is larger than the absolute value of 34 so I have to make this negative 23. Same numbers different problem negative 34 minus 57. Well once again it's subtraction so I have to add the opposite so I'm just going to make subtraction a plus sign and uh, make 57 negative. But are the numbers now, do they have the same sign? Yes, they're both negative. So remember when the signs are the same, you add. So now I have 57 plus 34 and that's 91. But both signs are negative, so I have to make that a negative 91. And I'm sorry for the glare. All right. Moving along. We have negative 34 minus a negative 57. First step, change subtraction to plus. So now I have negative 57. I have to make the opposite of negative 57, so I'm just going to make that a plus sign too, because now it's positive 57. All right, we're ready to add, and now the signs are different, and so I have 57 minus 34. Um, which is 23, and this time the number with the largest absolute value is 57, and it's positive. So this is going to be positive 23. 11 minus 456. Don't be scared of the big numbers. It is okay. Y'all are learning how to do this. So we have 11 minus 456. The first step is to change subtraction to plus, and then don't forget to make this the opposite. We're adding the opposite. Well, different signs. This number is definitely bigger. So now we have 456 minus 11. Our answer is 445 and it's negative. Um, okay. Before we do the big one, we'll do this one. 78 minus negative 22. Once again, change subtraction to plus change negative 22 to its opposite. Both signs are the same now, and I can just add 78 and 22. I'm adding them. My answer is 100. All right, so remember on these big long problems, we work from left to right. And we work inside the absolute value and rewrite it. So we're going to work inside each absolute value 
and rewrite the equation. So we have 3 minus 7 plus negative 9. So let's make that 3 plus negative 7. That's going to equal, let's see, we're going to have the absolute value of negative 4 plus negative 9 minus, well, that's the absolute value of negative 2. We know that. That one's 2. Plus the absolute value of 7, negative 7 minus 5. We're adding the opposite. 7 and 5 is 12. 12, that's negative because both signs are negative. Now we have to rewrite this one. Let's start back at the beginning. This takes several steps, y'all. Make sure you're writing them down. So we have the absolute value of negative 4 plus negative 9, which is negative 13 minus 2 plus What's the absolute value of negative 12? Absolute value is always positive. So it's 12. Let's read work left to right one more time. The absolute value of negative 13 is 13 minus 2 plus 12. Okay, we've taken care of everything we need to underneath the absolute value signs, now we can work on solving our problem. So we have 13 minus 2 plus 12. Okay, we can do that. 13, let's change the subtraction to plus and the positive 2 to a negative 2. So 13 plus negative 2 is 11 plus 12. So our answer is 23 in the word problems. All right, on the word problems, I asked you to write an equation and solve. And writing the equation is just what you do so you can solve the problem. So let's read this. At 5 a.m., the temperature was... 15 degrees Fahrenheit. 15 degrees, not negative 15, 15 degrees. So I'm going to write that down, 15. At noon, the temperature had risen 40 degrees. So it had risen, that's positive, so that's plus 40. But then at 3 p.m., a cold front blew in and the temperature dropped 35 degrees. So if the temperature dropped, we're going to subtract it because that means it went down. What was the temperature at 3 p.m.? Write an equation and solve. So here's our equation. We have 15 degrees, it rose 40 degrees, and it dropped... 35 degrees. So now let's solve this. We can do this in two steps, working from left to right. 15 plus 40 is 55. So we've done that, minus 35. 55 minus 35, it's plus negative 35, so and it's negative 35 because the temperature dropped. 55 minus 35 is 20. So the temperature outside is 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And one more problem. Okay, Sarah had $25 in her checking account. She went shopping and spent $57. How much money does she have in her checking account? Write an equation and solve. Okay, so she had $25 in her account. 
So she had 25. She went shopping and she spent 57. That means she's taking it out. Uh, how much does she have in her checking account? Write an equation and solve. So we just wrote the equation. She had $25, she spent $57. So now let's see what she has left in her account. So remember we are adding the opposite and 57 is the bigger number, the number of the bigger absolute value. So we know the answer is going to be negative. 57 minus 25, so she has negative $32 in her checking account. So I want you all to think of any questions that you have for me now that the video is over and we've worked these problems and we can talk about it and maybe do more examples um, if you all are still unsure.